you picked a great spot, just don't dive into the fountain. We've got a lot of people here, we're going to be sharing numbers with you later on today, we're going to be sharing excitement, we're going to be sharing all the winners, but before we can get to all of that, we still got some competing to do. I want to remind everybody that judging continues, I'm sorry, voting continues, and contributing continues until 3 o'clock today. So, you still got a chance if you haven't voted, and of course you're going to see these fine folks up here who will be doing their spiel. So I want to explain how this works. In addition to the crowdfund distributed by the popular vote this year, there are additional juried awards in each creator category. That includes art, that includes music, innovation, science, and technology. And those jurors are represented here today. We'll introduce them as we go through each category. Allowing the public to go ahead and decide which project receives funding for the crowdfund is an integral part of the whole One Spark experience, of course. Our mission, though, is to connect grassroots independent creators with the resources they need. Of course, that's why you're voting and that's why you're contributing. But also, we believe that it's vital for creators to receive critical feedback. Critical feedback so that they can come back not only next year and expand, maybe with a new idea, but also when they go ahead and take their idea and march it into the marketplace and go for funding, they've got feedback from these folks that'll help them do even a better job. We've got subject matter experts who will be doing just that today. So the jurors have been on the ground all week long. Everybody, jurors, show us your feet. Show us your feet, yep, you can tell. They're worn out, they've got like 13 pairs of shoes, and, uh, and they've been walking the streets all 20 plus blocks of this entire event all week long, looking at the categories they represent. And what they've done is they've decided on the top three projects in each category. Once again, they've decided on the top three categories in each project. So those top three are gonna go ahead and pitch right here today. They will have five minutes. In front of them is a monitor that gives them the time. They're gonna pitch to the jurors. They're gonna pitch to you, Shark Tank style. And the creator who is selected from this category in each category will receive an additional $10,000. There are some house rules. $10,000 is on the line. And while we want you to get excited, and we want you to go ahead and hoot and holler and whatever you do for these wonderfully talented creators, we also want you, I'm gonna go very away, to show some respect. Because these folks are working hard. Their dream is on the line. So hey, let's not go ahead and run up in the middle of the stage you know if you want to text do it do all your social media stuff take your phone calls do whatever you got to do tweet about it but hey let's also listen because these people are here to work and they've been working hard all week long so you ready to get this cookie started yeah i'd like to go ahead and now introduce our art jurors when i say your name if you'd be so kind as to please stand up and wave to the crowd and everybody wave back wink at them nod body dance whatever you want to do our art jurors for our first series of pitches include cookie davis cookie also holly karras holly and joel adams and ladies and gentlemen let's let the games begin our first juried art finalist to present, who will have five minutes, is our Wilderness in Watercolor, creator number 20668. Come up to the stage. Best of luck. array of city, state, and national parks, yet hundreds of thousands of people in our region beyond do not know about these fabulous, unique resources. This project will make people more aware of our amazing parks and the nonprofit groups that support them and will inspire people to actually experience the natural wonder of these treasures. It will also show locals and business investors 
the quality of life in North Florida, the real Florida. I am seeking funds and support to paint eight new watercolor watercolors of our area's wilderness parks, along with their sketchbook journal pages for inclusion in the long-term project introduced at One Spark last year, the Wilderness of North Florida's Parks. The eight proposed parks to paint are Big Talbot Island State Park, Fort George Cultural State Park in Kingsley Plantation, Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens, Julington Durban Creek Preserve, Thomas Creek Preserve, Jacksonville Baldwin Trail and Camp Milton, Mandarin Park, Cedar Point, Betts Tiger, Pumpkin Hill Preserves. One Spark voters that viewed my showcase picked which sketch for each park should become the large scale watercolor for that park. That's what the red dots represent their votes. These eight new park paintings will go along with the eight new painting, the, the eight paintings of six park paintings that I've already done. Theodore Roosevelt area near Fort Caroline. Little Talbot Island State Park. Tilly Fowler Regional Park. Guana Tolomato Matanzas. National Estuarian Research Reserve. Catherine Abbey Hanna Park. Cumberland Island National Seashore. These parks are all within one hour of downtown Jacksonville. This project will also highlight the nonprofit groups that preserve and protect our land and water. They will be highlighted with sketchbook journal pages. These organizations are St. John's Riverkeeper, North Florida Land Trust, Timaquan Trail Parks Foundation, Greenscape. These are some examples of some of the sketchbook table t pages that I've done for these groups. All of this will result in a family-friendly and affordable book. We have mock-ups of the book showing the progress I've made so far. Our target price for this book is $25. And also, these prints and pages will travel around as an art exhibit shown around in our area and beyond. A unique blend of art and education, this project showcases our parks and will inspire people to go to these parks and experience these natural treasures for themselves. I am a One Spark creator, Jacksonville native, professional fine artist, kayaker, hiker, mountain biker, and I am a park ambassador. This project showcases is located at the gallery that represents me here downtown every day south light gallery it's just half a block down this road on hogan come see us 11 to 3 and during art walk i'm ready for questions okay we'll now open up to our jurors if they have any questions for our first creator Project. Sorry, could you repeat it one more time? So it's a little bit louder there. You can hold it right up close to your mouth there. There you go. Don't be shy. It won't bite you. You're good. Do you have an estimated timeline to complete your project? The large scale watercolors of the parks take about two to three weeks of time for me to complete. And then the sketchbook journal pages for those parks take several days. And I'll be working with those nonprofit groups and parks. Now you said this is going to be a traveling exhibit. Have you already made connections for places that you will be putting your work? I've been working on that. I'd like to have them in the airport 
in, in a either Park of the Month place or occasionally in the Haskell Gallery type of, type of area. They can be shown in the library type places, museums, either as a unit or individually or in small groups. Do you have any intention of uh, putting this in the schools? And if so, what level? Say that last part again? What level? Would it be for grammar schools, high schools? I think at, at elementary school, middle school, in all levels, another way these pa paintings and parts could be um, seen is, is in a poster put all together and these parts near certain schools could be highlighted on their bulletin boards or handed out. Hey, uh, do you conceive of a third phase of this project as well beyond what you've described here? Uh, I mean, I'd like for when we publish the book that the community help get them in the libraries in our schools. And um, I think I could do more sketchbook journal pages for the other nonprofit groups not related to the parks. There's a lot of different things that this, this could do. It's <laughs> we have time for just one more question from the jurors if they have any. No more for questions? Let's put it together for our first pitch in the art category. Kathy Stark on Wilderness in Watercolor. 